Now there's a shortcut to actually getting the right formula, and we can do that simply by crossing the charges. For example, aluminum and oxygen, that was a really difficult one, but with the shortcut it's easy. We see that aluminum has a charge of plus 3, well that plus 3 is going to go into the bottom right hand corner. Oxygen has a charge of minus 2, that minus 2 is going to go into the bottom left hand corner, and that gives us Al2O3 aluminum oxide. Gallium and fluorine. As you can see, gallium has a charge of plus three, which is go into, going into the bottom right hand corner. And then fluorine has a charge of negative one, which is going to go into the bottom left hand corner, giving us GaF3 gallium fluoride. Lithium and phosphorus. All we have to do is cross the charges, and we get Li3P, lithium phosphide. Potassium and oxygen. Potassium with a charge of plus one, oxygen with a charge of minus two, and when we cross those charges, we get K2O, potassium oxide. Magnesium and chlorine with magnesium with a charge of two plus, chlorine with a charge of minus one. We cross the charges and we get MgCl2, magnesium chloride. Calcium and oxygen. Calcium with a charge of 2 plus, oxygen with a charge of 2 minus, and when they cross the charges, we get Ca2O2. Now, we want to reduce it to its lowest number ratio. So, we cross out the 2s. The 2s cancel out since they're both 2s, and that just leaves us with CaO, calcium oxide.